Hi, I'm Zerfo, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Art. Last time, we were battling darkness. This time, we're battling darkness. Hee <laughs> hee! You don't go easy, down easy, do you? But unfortunately for you, no matter how many times you challenge me, I'll always win! Hee hee hee! So here's this ugly bastard again. And the first thing we're going to do is magic. We have death guard. And the first thing she's going to do is switch to locks and then let him use an item. Cross. Oh! Son of a bitch! Well, at least he didn't kill locks right away. Alright, so she's going to use an item. Cross. On herself. Close enough, no one died. Good here. Oh, you can keep using them, man. I didn't know that. Okay. So. Nope, but he's all ready to go. I did check. He does have the strongest armor we or weapon we can get him. Let's have him start with the full power. She'll warp her the first few times, I think. Oops, oh. Now it's just a bunch of uh, trying to work down his hit points, I suppose. I'll keep everyone alive. And I have a feeling this fight is going to go uh, pretty well this time. Oh, that was a so good. Be down. Crap, he didn't start missing all the time now. He really didn't try nearly as hard to kill us last time. I suppose I didn't need to fall as long here. <laughs> let's see if she can get a kickoff. Or let's go with power. Oh, that was pretty good damage. Okay. So then every once in a while we'll just deal with Zerfall. So it seems like this is going a lot better than last time already. He's not even casting the uh, Kill Everybody spell. <laughs> that was a way shorter and way easier battle. Defeated Darkness. A member of Zero Falls Party each got a bunch of stuff. And let's level up. I, I can't believe you're this powerful. Don't get cocky. You just 
beat me. Here, take this. We got the darkness heart. Uh, you use that at the door in the temple that wore open. Your true enemy will lead you in, into your eternal rest. <laughs> I'll tell you one last thing. I am your soul. The evil within your soul is Yag. Okay, so apparently darkness was the evil half of our soul. Doesn't seem um, very accurate, but let's try working back to town and seeing if people are back. Either that or, like, we might have gone crazy, I guess, in the uh, world of darkness and he manifested himself from us. But the end is back, which is good because we need... Oh. I feel bad at charging you after you rescued me, but business has been bad lately, so I really need the money. Oh well. Good morning, how do you sleep? Would you like to say? Yes, I would. Come again. I wasn't able to divine that I would be turning to a figurine. So I guess they were all figurines. Uh, we didn't see them at the... Temple. I did go back to the temple to get Lux and Reshine back, obviously, but uh, they weren't there. Becoming a figurine feels weird, nasty, kaboom. I don't want to be a heroine anymore. Alright, so let's go see what other people have to say around town. Hey, I was turned into a figurine. Uh, I remember that. No, I didn't doze off. Oh, what a sleepy guard. You're the hero of Tinkle! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could use a better title than that. What are you the hero of? Tinkle? I was turned into a figurine! Don't be silly. Maybe he's put some pants on by now. Oh, no, he's still in bed, I guess. To think that even I would be turned into a figurine. I don't want to think about what might happen if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Probably be darkness playing dolls and dress up with all his little figurines. But thanks to you, the town is back to normal. Except for the prince. Oh, what's wrong with him? When I was turned into figurine, I, I felt she was right there with me. I hope that she's alright. That's all I couldn't say. And here's the king, still snug in his bed. What? You to flee to darkness? Really? You finally did it! I see. That's how I came back from being a figurine. What a wonderful day today is. Oh, by the way, I'm worried about the prince. Cough, cough. Think you could have go talk with him for a bit? Maybe give him some advice? Well, let's see if we talk to his dad first. That's a some new dialogue. Yep. Just who is that girl? The only hint I have is this glass shoe I found at the ball. Please, come with me as I search for her. Sure. Really? Th then let's hurry and find her. The prince joined you. Hey, four party members. Alright, let's see. Do you know who we haven't checked on in a while? Other than the tailor here is the wolf. Down in the dungeon. Maybe he's... You want me to try those on? You're kidding, right? <laughs> okay, so I guess we're not getting um, regular dialogue from people until we... Uh, he doesn't even want to talk to us about it. We never know. He might have been the, a cross-dresser at the ball and dance with friends. Yeah, these people are like, why are you even asking us? You want me to try on that shoe? Prince, please don't jest! <laughs> Alright, so we know the right person to bring that shoe to, so let's... Let's do it up. And actually, let's follow the story tale. Story tale, fairy tale, uh, way. We'll ask the sisters first. Oh, it fits me perfectly! Like hell it does! <laughs> It's me perfectly. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the glass shoe is so full, it looks like it's going to shatter. It 
fits me perfectly, don't you think? You liar. Alright, so let's go talk to the right girl. She's not here. They never make anything easy for us, do they? Okay, let's search the town for Cinderina. That's impossible! I can't wear those! Hey, those shoes! Yeah, because we're not getting anything out of anybody else until we uh, find her. Oh! The prince! I did that the prince said. <gasps> I can't touch such fancy shoes. It's alright. Please just try. Oh! It, it fits perfectly. I shall spin in circles of joy. I found you! I finally found you! It was you! It was you at the ball, wasn't it? Your name. Could I please have your name? It's... Cinderina. 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 What a lovely name. Cinderina. Please come to the castle with me. And never... Ever leave my side. Okay. More spins of joy. It's your fault. Thank you so much for all your help. We're going back to the palace. If you feel like it, please come and visit us sometime. We'll be waiting for you. Alright, so they must... Come on, let's go! They must have some sort of reward for us, uh... Uniting their love. But if it's anything like little red hat over here, they just tell us we can eat the baguettes and then we can't eat them. I really wanted a baguette. Alright, let's go see... Well, let's see what Geppetto has to tell you. Regular Styles, or whatever his name was. Thank you, you saved my life! I'm glad you found Cinderina. Alright, let's see if we can get some sort of prize for the friends here. Ooh, they're not, uh... Whoa. Ah, after I find her, found her, she laughed into a deep sleep. I think I read in some sort of book that a prince's kiss would wake a sleeping girl. No matter how many times I kiss her, she doesn't wake up. <laughs> He's just in there planting kisses on her. I guess I shouldn't have given her that apple I found in front of the inn. I guess not. And we can't even examine her, so... It turns out that, in the end, the prince killed, or at least comatized, Cinderina with a poison apple. Everything is great. Well, not really. We still have a problem. I'm glad the prince was able to bring Cinderina back safely, but Cinderina has been to herself. Oh, please, don't tell anyone about this. We don't want people to get upset. Only the prince and I and the king know about this. Alright, so... Who would know about apples? A witch probably would. But maybe... Now I can finally work at ease. Chirp chirp. Lately that ant won't play with him. This time we're gonna build a house out of iron, that way it'll never collapse. I guess building my house out of straw was distributed. This guy probably said we should all work together. Yep. Alright. Um I'm sure I'm all Was it an old lady? No. Let's try asking the girl at the end. I guess she's got she's the one that originally told us about the trees, I think. Yeah. You're looking for a way to wake someone up? I know. There's a really easy way to do it. First, you squeeze your hand into a tight fist and raise it high in the air and last you bring it hard, down hard on the sleeping person. Eh, that won't work? I see, I suppose you're right. Okay, then I'll define the answer for you. Let's see. So I think this girl is like our new fire. She just tells us where to go and how to do things. Powder of Awakening. 
What? Where do we find some? I don't know. We might try checking somewhere that lost things tend to end up. That'll be all of your money. Just kidding, haha. <laughs> I bet that woke you up, eh? But why were you looking for that sort of thing? What? You want me to <laughs> divine that answer for myself? Good point. I guess I could do that. Okay, and she just says the same thing. Okay, well, all the lost things that we know of end up in one spot. And that's just at the temple, so goodbye to our followers. And we're gonna go talk to the goddess and the fire, and maybe we'll find some sleeping powder while we're here. Hmm. I've not seen any new uh, powders or anything floating around. Unfortunately for Cinderina, I don't care that much about her waking up. It doesn't seem like it's part of the story, so... Sirfall, you have finally found all of the arcs. Just as I thought, you did it. Just as I knew you would. Now, do not falter. Continue ahead. Continue on the path you believe in. The final door awaits you inside the temple. Alright, so we got to find this final door. You get Darkness Arc. You not ordinary person. Last door in first place. Good luck. Alright, well the first place we ever were was here. Um, well, let's try the obvious spot of... A door appears to be sealed inside the crystal pillar. Well, let's try this Darkness Arc out. We're somewhere. And I think I'm gonna end. Oh, I should have checked if I could bring my guys. Oh, yeah. These monsters seem pretty uh, tough, though. Uh oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash there. Okay. So. Those are blue beholders. We're gonna see if we can summon our buddies. And I think this time we're going to actually. Power. I think uh, Reshine was faster than Lux, so she get more attacks to hit. But let's bring the healer back because these guys seem pretty tough and they do quite a bit of damage. So wisdom. Oh yes, it was. Okay. So, let's call this a video. I'm Zerfall. We've been playing Mystic Arc. We've defeated Darkness, and we're now in some sort of floating grassy area in the darkness. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.